Today I visit CageBot for you and we meet Kai, one of the founders and the CEO. He's still working from home here in Berlin Moabit and is giving us a little tour through his home office and shows us some of his gadget. Cool company, cool product. Let's have a look. Come with me. Here we get to CageBot Industries, right? Hello. Yeah. Hi. This is Kai. Hi, I'm Kai. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Give us a little tour through your home office still. Huh? Yeah, yeah, still home office. Okay. Maybe in a few months we have our, our office. Yeah. So here's yeah. Yeah. where I basically work all the time. <laughs> this is where the magic happens? Yeah. Very good. So all my, my partner and my colleague, they all mm -hmm. work from home right now. Okay. So like we talk every day on the internet and yeah. Very work good. by ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so but tell us, uh, what is CageBot actually all about? Yeah, CageBot is uh, actually a sophisticated robot set. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, like a robot set everyone can use. Mm -hmm. It's quite easy to use. And um, yeah, we have like sturdy bricks, powerful mm -hmm. motors. And you can really, like if you want to have something for outdoors or something, mm -hmm. you, you, yeah, you have the opportunity to build like a, a small bot can go by itself through the woods. Yeah. And um, yeah, sensors to detect something. Awesome. And, yeah. and you buy it uh, as a kit from you guys? You buy it, sell online as of yeah, next month? Yeah, we sell yeah? online yeah. Yeah, as of next month. Cool. And uh, it reminded myself a bit on, uh, to my child days when I was playing with Lego and always was hoping for something like this actually, to mm. build really cool stuff. It it's looks awesome actually, I really like it. Actually, is <laughs> <laughs> one of the reasons why we do this. It's yeah. because we, we didn't really find something that is uh, sturdy enough to, mm. to do it. And uh, because we love Lego too, yeah. especially Lego Mindstorms. And uh, in schools, like when, when the kids want to play with this mm. and have a workshop, yeah, we wanted something that they can really like yeah, smash or, or like get really dirty. And, yeah, and uh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's maybe walk a bit further in. Um, yeah, my big office. <laughs> your big office. Um, let's have a look from this side, maybe. And tell me, we, here's some examples. Yeah. So this is already put together. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, yeah, we just went from a workshop mm -hmm. like in, in Köpenick, we went to school uh -huh. and actually this is all the, the children do this. Mm -hmm. So before it's um, all, yeah, we just have the parts, we yeah. put them together, then you have the brain, the motors, the sensors, put it together, uh -huh. then you use the app on uh, iPhone, Android yeah. or on a computer and you can, uh, yeah, you can just use it like a remote control, yeah. so it's on That's already. On. And this one, for example, um, like you, you have the sensor here, it's an mm -hmm. ultrasound sensor, yeah. and right now it detects a lot. <laughs> but um, you can put your hand, for example, here. It's a small program, you write mm -hmm. with pictures. Mm -hmm. So right now, like, it detects the sensor and want to go back. Mm -hmm. like you put it to the ground, it's mm -hmm. just like this. You take your hand and just go back. It's very simple, cool. but it actually takes you like a few seconds, and yeah, I can show you. Just uh, takes you uh, a few seconds on the on the editor for something like this. You okay. put in you put in just pictures so you don't have to really code. Mm. You you put in pictures like sensor, go back, the time, stop mm. and then jump to the first one. Those like awesome. forever. So as a kid could just program this, huh? Yeah, and actually it was ninth grade uh, our yeah. first workshop and yeah, awesome. They were quite and surprising. And this came out, yeah. Yeah, this awesome. came out. Yeah. Cool. And maybe um, wh what's what's your affiliation with robotics? I mean, you obviously have to have some major skills to pull yeah, off something like um, this. Yeah, like my, my my partner and me, we started in the industrial automation business. Mm -hmm. So I was mainly for robots and camera systems, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we thought, like now's the time to really create an educational set for mm. for schools and and yeah, like what we always wished for, because back yeah. in days we would really love to have that. <laughs> Sad, yeah, cool. Yeah. And um, yeah, you have probably made already some ups and downs also with this of company. Course, yeah, of course. So like the beginning is really hard. Like yeah. most of the people would tell you, ah, it's too difficult, especially this kind of product. It's not mm. like a, it's not like so easy to sell like in, mm. in like an app or like it's like a very small product. Mm. And a lot of people would tell you, ah, it's too difficult, don't risk too much. Mm. But it's really like you, you just, if you believe in it, you mm. just start, you do it. You try to not rethink too much. Mm. And uh, you ask people, or you really trust about their opinions, mm. and then act on it. Um, like, okay. yeah, as a founder, who, who inspires you? Do you have someone you look up to and inspired maybe? Actually, opinions? maybe it's a little bit cheesy, but it's yeah. really like my partner when we started. Mm. Like he, because I'm a little bit more, I think more German style. I mm. want to have it very secure. I want to have it, think it really through. Yeah. And he was always like, Kai, no, he's German too, but still like this. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Kai, let's do this. I mean, we are good enough now and we, we learned enough mm. and we have the opportunity, so let's do it. And I think this impresses me very much. And right now, like we have the finished product. We start Perfect. to sell very soon. So he was right in the end. So. Good. <laughs> and what made you start the company in Berlin? You lived in Taiwan before I read. And, I worked um, there. Yeah, you worked there. And, uh, 
What made you start here in Berlin then? Yeah, first we love Berlin. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> and, uh, and actually we are all born here from the company, so it was okay. quite obvious for us. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Well, Kai, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you too. I give you the left hand and all the best for the company. Thank you very much. Bye guys. Bye guys.